Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let us solve some examples on three variable K maps to simplify the Boolean expression. Okay, in this example, the three variable expression it is summation 0, 1, 4, 5. So to write the K map for this three variable, we need to take A vertically and B C horizontally. For A we have two different values 0, 1. For B C we have four different values we get 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 so the cells can be named as 0 1 this is 3 2 4 5 7 6 now we need to look at what are the inputs given 0 1 4 and 5 so i need to fill logic 1 or value 1 to these cells 0 1 4 and 5 will be filled with ones and remaining cells will be filled with zeros. Now I need to look for which are the adjacent cells will be having 1. Suppose we consider here 1 and 1 are adjacent cells and for this one this is also an adjacent cell and again for this one fifth cell 4 and 1 are adjacent cells. Here we will be having all these 4 as with one value. So I can group this together. Once we group this together, I need to write the logical expression what we are going to get for this group. First let me look at these A values. A is 0 here and it is changing to 1. So if any value changing from 0 to 1, we need to neglect that. So there will be no A here in this group expression. So let me look at BC. Here B is 0, here also B is 0. It means it is b bar it is not changing its value so let me take it as b bar here it is c it is 0 and it is changing to 1 so i am going to neglect this c also so b bar is the expression for this particular group and this k map will be having a single group so the group expression is b bar so we say b bar is the expression for this example and also you can go in this way in this group I will be having 1 here. This 1 is A will be 0, B is 0, C is 0. So I am writing 0, 0, 0. And for this one, A is 0, B is 0, C is 1. And similarly for this one, A is 1, B is 0, C is 0. And this is 1, 0, 1. So in this you can see A is having 0, 0, 1, 1. So we can cancel it out. And C is having 0, 1, 0, 1. I am going to cancel it out. And B is not changing throughout the group. So I am writing it as B bar. And only one group is there in this example. So the output is B bar. Now let me take a second example. Here we have 0, 1, 2, 3 as min terms. So in the K map, I am going to write 0, 1, 2, 3 cells with value 1 and remaining 4, 5, 7, 6 with zeros. Again, I need to look for grouping of adjacent cells having one value. Here you can see 0, 1, 3, 2 cells having one and all are adjacent. So I am going to group those with a single group. Now after grouping, I need to look for any other ones left out. There are no ones here. For this group, write the expression corresponds to A, it is 0. So I am going to write it as A bar. And look at B and C values. Here B is 0, 0 here. And it is changing to 1, 1. So neglect B. C is also 0, 1, 1, 0. So neglect C. So A bar is the only expression here for this example. So we can say A bar is the output. So let me take a complex example. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7. So again in the K map, I am taking in the same way A and B, C. So here 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 are the main terms. So I am writing 1 and remaining with zeros. Now I need to group these by looking at the adjacent ones. First let me group these four since they are four terms adjacent to each other. And this one is left out. So I am grouping with this third cell 1. This is allowed. We can group this for the multiple groups. We can consider this for the multiple groups. Now I am going to write the expression for this. So for the first group, for the two variable group, this is 
corresponds to 1 and 3 here a is 0 so it is a bar and here we need to look for b b is changing 0 to 1 so i am neglecting b and c is 1 itself so i am writing this is c so a bar into c is the expression for this group it is a bar into c similarly i need to look at the next group this is four variable group in this group a is changing from 0 to 1 so we can neglect a and look at b and c b is same 1 1 so let me write it as b and c is changing from 1 to 0 neglect that c so the expression is b for this so then two groups are there here with values a bar c and b so the final expression is b plus a bar c let me take the fourth example here is bit complex again here i am writing the variables x and yz here in the question they have given x y z so take x y z like this and we need to fill 1 at 0 2 3 and 4 5 7 the remaining values are zeros here i can group these values as by looking at the adjacent ones i am grouping these two together again i am grouping these two together and i am grouping these two now it covers all ones no one is left out so let me write an expression for each of these groups so you can see this one first here x is changing so x can be neglected this is y bar z bar from these two this is y bar z bar and looking at the second group this one here x is 0 so it is x bar and here we have y is not changing and z is changing so it is y so this is the second group gives x bar y similarly look at this group here we have x is equal to 1 so we have x here and from this y and z we will be having 0 1 1 1 so where z is 1 y is changing so we have from this group x and z we need to add all these three to get the final expression y bar z bar plus x bar y plus xz and here we will be getting one more question that why can't we group these two and why can't we group these two we can also group these two and also we can group this one with this one so let us see this example by grouping in other way here again i am writing the same values you can see here and now i am start grouping these in this way first i am taking these two and we can group these two becomes an adjacent cells so I, we can group these two and then again i am grouping the same with the next adjacent one that is 0 and 4 cell and i am grouping 3 and 7 and again i can group 4 and 5 and also i can group 5 and 7 like this what happens if we are going to group the same cell with adjacent cell multiple times see you can uh, see here this fifth cell is also in group with 4 and also i have taken group with 7 anyhow we can't group these three together we can group like this what happens if we group like this first let me write an expression for this and also we have this group so from 0 and 2 0 and 2 means this is 0 and this is 2 the black mark this gives x bar and z bar here y is changing and from this blue line this one we are going to get from 0 4 we are going to get y bar z bar since x is changing and from this group now i am taking this group here i am getting y z x is changing and again from this group this one here x and here y bar z is changing and from this purple group i will be getting x z from this group green line from this one i am getting x bar y here i have six groups finally so these six groups are giving these expressions so i need to add all these 
it will become a complex expression so these are called as prime implicants here we need to find out which is the essential prime implicant and which is not essential how to find out that here in the example or in the problem we can see it will be consisting of min term 0 2 3 4 5 and 7 and also while writing the expressions we need to cover at least once this 0 should be covered once this 2 should be covered at least once 3 4 5 7 should cover at least once you can see here in my expression 0 to we have x bar and z bar here again i am getting 0 so with this z with this 0 we will be having 4 this 4 is again covered here right so out of these two we can choose one as a essential prime implicant so let me choose this as my prime implicant i am neglecting this why because this 0 this 0 is covered here this 4 is again covered here okay so i am not going to consider the second one my first expression is the essential prime implicant now you can see the third expression we have 3 and 7 so 3 is required again but 7 is covered here also and 3 is covered here also so let me keep this as my prime implicant and i am going to neglect this term since 3 is covered in this and 2 is covered in the first expression itself i am already considering that so i am considering the third expression if you look at this expression 4 is there if you look at the next expressions there is no 4 and i have neglected this 4 covering expression also this is not my essential prime implicant so i need to consider this now this becomes my essential prime implicant and this is also an essential prime implicant okay and now look at the next expression here we have 5 and 7 5 is covered here already and 7 is also covered here so i can neglect this also i am not going to consider this and last one i have already neglected so these three are my prime implicants and this so i am going to get the expression as x bar z bar plus y z plus x y bar this is my expression for this given example and also in other way if you look at we will be getting one more expression like y bar z bar plus x z plus x bar y here you can see out of these two i have taken this as my essential prime implicant by neglecting this you can choose this and you can neglect this also why because if you neglect this first expression this 0 will be covered here if you choose this and 2 will be covered here then you need to choose this expression so i am getting x bar y here i am considering this and first expression i have neglected second one i have considered so y bar z bar i am getting here and this xz is this to cover 5 and 7 so i am neglecting this x y bar also so this is how we will be getting two different expressions that is okay we will be getting two different expressions sometimes that covers that particular logic from the previous method you can see where we have not grouped the multiple ones like this we have uh, grouped in a different way where we are getting y bar z bar plus x bar y plus x z so this is the second expression what we have here so you, even if you follow this method you will be getting the same expression but here we need to choose the essential prime implicants carefully i hope you guys have understood if any questions you please comment below let me try to clear your doubts in the next video let me tell you how to Solve a four variable K map. Thank you.